Welcome to 15 Minute Theatre, the only review show that squeezes a whole production into 900 seconds. The date is the 2nd of December 2021, and we've just been to see a perfect Christmas. Open the house! I'm surprised you can even remember the theme tune, Vicky. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. Thank you. So I'm just yawning. It's a bit rude, isn't it? A bit rude. Oh, how are you doing? About a year and you just yawn. That means you're bored already. We've only just started. Uh, I'm just a bit tired. That's all. All right. What were you doing last night? Ah, it's all right. I know what you were doing. Damn. Um, should we get on with the, with the business in hand? Let's do it. Come on, then. All right, then. So uh, we um, want to see A Perfect Christmas, which is kind of a cabaret. What is it? A Christmas cabaret? Um, oh, God, what's wrong with it? Yes, it's, I, it's not so much a cabaret. It doesn't have, I wouldn't say it has, like, cabaret act in it, but it has the singing. Oh, yeah. and it's got, the, it's got some poetry. Storytelling. It's a review show, I believe. Yeah. And it's at the Above the Stag Theatre in Vauxhall. I'm yeah. going to give you a few facts about it. I wish um, you would. <laughs> it's an original um, creation, I guess. Um, obviously using well-known Christmas tunes and things. Um, it's written by Tim MacArthur, directed by Tim MacArthur. The musical director was Rudy Percival. Um, the notable actors were Tony Blackmore, Lucy L. Cliff, Stuart Simmons and Joe Wickham. Good names, strong names. Strong names there. And um, there's only a few dates left. There's four dates left to see this. The 8th, the 9th, the 19th, and the 23rd of December. For some reason, not doing it after Christmas. Well, because it's about Christmas, and (laughs) once Christmas is gone, it will no longer be relevant. Do you want to give us a synopsis? What happened? Well, there. I mean... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> There's no plot. <laughs> it's just basically four people, sometimes all on the stage at once, sometimes <laughs> one on the stage, sometimes two on the stage. They um, sing in some Christmas songs, um, wearing various Christmas outfits, <laughs> yeah. um, telling some Christmas stories, poems, got a piano. That's pretty much it. Yeah, and I should say it's about 90 minutes with the interval included. Yeah, um, just under that, I think. Um, so all right, did you like it? Uh, do you know what? I did enjoy it. It was very funny enough, very Christmassy. Well, we 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 go to see something kind of Christmas like every year, don't we? Really? Yeah, I um, mean, and this yeah, one, this one really ticked the boxes for the right amount of Christmas cheer, I guess. I mean, what helped was the um. All four performance. I mean, they're very good singers, aren't they? I think that's fair to say. Yeah. Um, so you were set, um, they did they did some they did a range of music songs, I guess. They did some which were a bit more technically challenging, like you know the um pa 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 the Carol of the Bells. Exactly. Yeah, they did that beautifully. I thought it's beautifully. A cappella a lot. Yeah. Uh, and then. Uh, they did some comedy numbers, so um, one of the ones that sticks out for me is um, one of the guys did um, Walking in the Air, didn't he? Yeah, and they reworked the 12 Days of Christmas in a very amusing oh, way. They did, oh God, about that, they were. Which was well, very good, about presents that they, they got for Christmas, which is very good. Yeah. Well, look, I, I don't think you'd describe this as highbrow, would you? No, it's not highbrow. It's it's um it's just if you just want to go and have a nice evening, have a few drinks, um, listen to some lovely Christmas singing and some poems and enjoy the the lovely pajamas that they wear. Yes. Um, it's just a nice sort of easy, fun, Christmassy night out. Absolutely. Um, I suppose we should talk a little bit. We talked talk, talk about the vocal talents. Um, we should talk about the um musical stylings of 
the musical director. What's his name again? Rudy. Rudy. Um, I mean, he was very good, wasn't he? He was very good. Yeah, he he did a bit, little bit of singing as well. He did. Piped up at one point. Still got uh, that sparkly gold piano. Yeah, he was very good. Yeah. It was nice. I mean, um, I was amazed that afterwards we found out they'd only rehearsed for two days and I couldn't believe it because I think they really <laughs> pulled it together really well because it was only the second night, wasn't it, when we went? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I was really impressed. With starters, how, you know, they remembered all the words after two rehearsals. Absolutely. There, was, there were no flaws. Also, um, they didn't, there, there wasn't kind of a lot of choreography, but there were um, certain choreographed bits, I suppose, or certainly... Um, you know, plan movements, and they were all very tight, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, they they were they were on it. Yeah, yeah I was really I impressed. Mean, we did we did laugh an awful lot. We did laugh, yeah, we really did. It, it, well, it did make me chuckle. Um, uh, anything you want to say about um, the the direction? Well, I mean, it's pretty it's pretty straightforward. That you know, it, it's basically sort of on stage, off stage. Walking around each other, you know. It's like every single play we've ever been to review, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty simple, but then what are you going to do with two days rehearsal? What are you going to do? Yeah. So, well, um, well, yeah, I but think... it didn't look simple. I mean, they did what they did what they needed to do. I think. No, nobody missed their cues. That was. <laughs> I'm just. I'm still so <laughs> impressed that they only had two days rehearsals. <laughs> no, it was. It was slick. It was definitely slick. They knew what they were doing. That's for sure. Uh huh. Was there anything that you did not enjoy? Um, I'm trying to think of something I didn't enjoy. I don't. Well, uh, this is really a criticism of the performance, but I thought that thing about Mary and Joseph and the berries was a bit odd. Yeah, there was a was that a, was that a poem or a song? I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, I think it was a poem. Yes. Yeah, that was weird. But we. But maybe is that just because we hadn't heard it before? Why haven't we heard it? I don't know. There were a couple of things I didn't know actually. Really. Yeah, there was that. One. I can't remember what the other thing was, but the yeah, the poem about Mary and the berries was I just a bit wandering around weird. an orchard picking berries. And so I don't think that was an nativity, but maybe it was. No, maybe it's something we've missed. <laughs> All these years. <laughs> All right, and um, what what did you like the best? What was your standout moment? Oh gosh, I don't know. I really like the Carol of the Bells. I think. D- d- yeah. Um, look, they had me on that. I think their second number, you call them numbers in this sort of language. I do, I do. Uh, oh. Second number. And they uh, did um, uh, the opening song from, oh, not the opening song, but they did a song from um, The Muppet Christmas Carol. Oh, yeah, which is one of our favourites, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. So that was a good choice. I wonder if they yeah. knew that. Hmm. They knew their audience, that's that for really sure. Shit. I really did. <laughs> anyway, look, um, if you do get the chance to go and see this, it was only a tenner as well, so it's cheap. Um, um, I highly recommend but, it. I, say, I, I really liked as well. Sorry, so sorry to cut in there. I hope we're not going to talk I, about anything audience wise because we're going to come back and talk about that in a minute. Oh, no, I was just going to talk about the theatre. I've never been to the theatre before. Okay. It's nice. It's, it's got like quite a big bar area, hasn't it? And um, and I like there's two theatres oh, in there. And the one that we were in, I mean, I love a big bar area, <laughs> but the one that we were on had nice little tables and we were sitting around little tables. Oh, yeah. And we didn't right, do it, yeah. but you could order drinks to your tables, going back to the... Uh, right, now I've got absolutely bar. nothing to say in the next bit. Oh, oh well, I didn't know you were going to really do that. stole my thunder. So, oh, let's... Very sorry. Let's have a do break. Should we, we'll pre- we'll we pretend? Well, we'll let's... pretend this never happened. OK, all right. All right, so we're going to have a break, and then we'll come back and score it, shall we? All right, OK. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to kind of talk about uh, the theatre and how it was laid out, really. In this <laughs> <laughs> um, no, what what was good, but we weren't kind of informed about it. It was like the the table, the the, the seating was laid out in like a cabaret style, wasn't it? That's what yeah, I mean. yeah. Um, and you pointed about half, well, halfway through for me, but about five minutes into the first act for you, you finished <laughs> your drink, and there was a thing on the table, wasn't there? You could order a drink. Yeah, the little QR code you could scan. But we didn't know but, if it was activated or not. Well, no one had said anything about it, had they? So we weren't no. sure whether it worked or not. But, but it then, did. somebody did order a bottle of wine, didn't they? Well, they did order this bottle of wine, and it came um, at a really inappropriate point, I thought. 
Well, yeah, this is this. Is what I was thinking if everybody in there started ordering drinks sort of willy nilly, shall we say? Yeah, uh, it would be quite distracting, wouldn't it? Pull, well, it did pull focus at that moment. I think it was one of their more serious numbers, and it's delicious just waddle, wandering around trying to find a table to give a bottle of wine to. But oh. yeah. But still, well, I still, you know, I, I still think it's a great idea. Great idea, yeah, wonderful. All right, then. Well, listen, I think we better score this and get out of Dodge. What do you reckon? Yeah, all right, let's do it. All right, I'm just working out which ones to do, and I've done it. All right, so um, performances out of 10, Vicky, please, if you wouldn't mind to go first. Well, I've got this dilemma that I always have when we go to see um, performances like this about like you put how everyone against Mark Rylance. Comparing everyone to Mark Rylance, yeah. Um, I'm going to go for a seven. Oh wow! Okay, I've given they it. Were, a... They were really enjoyable. They were good, weren't they? All of them were good. Well, like, I've given them a nine. I've given them a nine. I didn't really have any problems with any other performances, really. I thought, but well, that... I'm I'm doing the Mark Rylance thing in my head. That's the problem. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Um, let's go with a uh, originality. Well, I mean, there was some originality in there for sure, but but not all of it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, hard, <laughs> it's hard to do a Christmas show. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go seven. Yeah, I'll give it a seven this time. That was the right time. Um, all right. So let's go for music. I thought the music was very good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a nine. I was going to go for an eight. I feel like I'm being quite harsh this week. I think you've been quite harsh. You've been, um, maybe we do need to take you back to see a Christmas carol. I'm out, um, of, I'm out of touch. <laughs> I've um, become a Scrooge. <laughs> um, costumes. Well, I mean, the costumes worked, but, you know, they, they were, you know... I'm going to knock a point off because... In the bit where they're all wearing their pajamas and everyone had slippers on, somebody was wearing trainers. Oh yeah, I noticed that. I just noticed that. I, I want to go for a six. Oh my gosh! All right, well I'll Sorry, give you. I'm being really horrible because I did really enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. These are good scores. Um, and finally, this is your chance to redeem yourself. Um, was it worth it? And because it's Christmas and I'm feeling generous, and it was worth it because it's only ten pounds, I'm going to give it ten points. I'm going to give it a 10 as well, because I think it was really good value for money. <laughs> and it was really fun. And we, we did really enjoy it, didn't we? Um, we and really I think enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend people to go and see it. Because, you, you know, there's not much time left. Tenor, 90 minutes, table service. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You can't go wrong, really, can you? And, and their, vo their voices really were very, very good. You done your numbers now, Jim? Bob. I have done my numbers, and I can tell you it gets a fifteen-minute theatre star rating of four stars. A four-star performance on the nose. Yeah, which is good. And you know, and I, I do feel like maybe I did judge it. I, I did rate it a bit harshly, but I was. The thing is, like we, you know, I'm, I'm thinking in my head about West End shows, and, and it didn't have, you know, the sort of money all the time put into it that it would oh and it's all about money and time is it with you no i'm just saying like <laughs> if you've got a massive budget you know what, what would they've done with the costumes you know it, for example but jolly good fun night out that i really enjoyed and they were all excellent hey there is nothing wrong with a four star rating victoria no, it's good it's good oh. we are a bit harsh anyway though. i give you a four star rating in general <laughs> thanks <laughs> you're welcome well, thankfully, at that awkward moment, that was a theatre bell, which means, thankfully, we are out of time. What a shame. So can I take this opportunity to wish you a Christmas? A Christmas? <laughs> yeah. I'll take you this opportunity to wish you a new year. Oh, and I will take that. Um, and I will say the lines which I haven't said for a while, so let's see if they work out. The curtain's down, the theatre's dark, and that was 15-minute theatre. Good night. Good night. No if 
you're brave enough to have your theatre production reviewed, please contact us at 15minutetheatre at gmail.com. Find us on Twitter and please rate and review us on iTunes. Thanks for listening.